are you? My name is Rodrigo Aguilar. I'm a transfer student here at Cal State San Bernardino. It's my third year. I transferred from College of the Desert. It's down in Palm Desert, California, where my hometown is. Um, I was born in Indio, California. It's close to Palm Desert. I live in Coachella, so I drive out to the Palm Desert camp, not the Palm Desert camp, to the main campus every day. I'm just turned 20 years old. Uh, my major is liberal arts, as most of most of you guys are, but I'm a minor, a concentration in mathematics because I want to be a math high school teacher. Um, I currently work at the UPS store. Uh, I really like the job. This helps me with school and I have flexible hours and everything. And I plan to graduate in 2020 with my bachelor's in liberal arts with a concentration in math and then come back and get my teaching credential in math. Why do you want to become an educator? Uh, to get weekends off. No, I'm just playing. If you want, really want weekends off to be an educator, you should really choose another career path because this isn't the one for you. I want to be an educator because I want to impact students' lives. Thousands of kids are going to come by my classroom and I'm going to impact every single one of them in a certain way or form. I believe that nowadays teachers are very lazy and aren't teaching students right because I experienced that when I was in high school and in middle school. So I know that especially in math, the subject that I want to teach, I found it really confusing and there wasn't a lot of teachers that actually helped me with it. So I want to go back and do the things right and help all the students that were like me have a good teacher and understand mathematics in a good way so that in their future they could move on and forward with their math skills. Who has influenced you? I believe one person who really has influenced me would be my high school math teacher, Mrs. Alvarez. She was my math teacher junior year when I was retaking Algebra 1 for the third time. Um, math was never really my favorite subject ever and once I took her class I really started understanding it. And once I started understanding it, I actually got excited for it and wanted to get to the next lesson and wanted to figure out how to solve these next problems and stuff like that. She was the first teacher that I felt that really impacted me in a certain way. And ever since then is when I started actually considering um, being the teacher to help other students just like myself. What will you contribute to your community as an educator? Educate, educators have several ways of contributing to the community, but I feel like a lot of them don't do anything at all. And it could be as simple as starting a club after school for your students or coaching one of the teams in the high school. And that could affect a lot of students in many ways. I plan on actually making a Ru Rubik's Cube club in school. I actually made one in my high school and it was, like, it was a really good turnout. We had like 30 students participating. We we're gonna join a tournament and everything. So I feel like a club like the Rubik's Cube Club is a challenging and fun club for after school programs and even coaching cross country. I was a cross country runner in my high school and in my community college years. So just coaching the team will help out the community by having a cross country team because in my old high school we were struggling to find a coach. Maybe that might not be the case in future years, but if it is, I know that I will be there to volunteer and coach that team because I know that students are really eager to play and it can be difficult to find a coach sometimes. Is there anything else you would like to add? Uh, just a reflection on what I've learned in my Humanities 187 class. You know, to always question everything and everyone because you deserve a very for education and no one is going to give that to you. You have to go and look for it and question everything. Your professors, everyone. Um, I've also been very influenced by this class. I came in thinking I wanted to be an educator, but now I know that I actually want to be one. So this has helped me, and it is going to help me throughout the next two years I am here at San Bernardino.